What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We took a little break, missed a video last week, so it's been like a week since I uploaded. Excited to be back here. Um, and we got some new projects. Bet you would have never guessed that. Um, and some updates on some others. You can see behind me right there. That's uh, that's one of them starting here. Also, the Fiesta. The Fiesta that we rebuilt the other week and I didn't quite finish on my channel. That one is fixed and sold and it happened so quickly that I didn't get any footage of it. So I apologize, guys. Um, you didn't see any finished anything of it. Um, and uh, it like we fixed it, and it went to the inspection station and was sold immediately. Like they checked it out. Um, the people we sold it to checked it out at the inspection station. So uh, you know things happen, but that's good good for our uh, our side of it. So uh, we want them to sell. Um, but uh, I unfortunately I just don't have any footage of it. But it came out perfect. So Fiesta is gone. So. Um, we got to start on the next project. Um, and it's not just the, uh oh, uh oh, don't, don't see that yet. The Cadillac's back there too. Um, right over, right over there. And we are, uh, almost sort of done with that. It might have a transmission issue. Um, we'll give you more updates on that later, but it's back from the alignment shop and it is all aligned. So that part is good. Now let's get to the new rebuilds. Dun, dun, dun. Here's our new rebuilds for the channel. It is two Hyundai Tucson's. We got a 2019, 2018 right there. We're going to take a walk around both of them. Um, this car is going to end up just being a parts car. It's going to be used to fix this one. And that one's going to be sold off or kept maybe for a little while. Um, that's going to be the complete car. This one here is just going to be parted out, sold on eBay, all the parts, all everything like that. Um, and you'll see why here in a second you might have a little hint already back there on that corner if you can see it. So let's take a look at the parts car. So this 2019 Hyundai Tucson, I believe has like 4,000 miles or something like that on it. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the exact miles, but it's, it's basically a brand new car. Um, and as you take a look around here, you're thinking, oh man, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We got a little, you know, a little scuff right there, but you know, nothing too bad. You can see we already got the dash out. Um, and then you get to the back and you realize why it's totaled. I don't think it was rolled over. I think somebody dropped like a tree storm. Something happened to this guy. And, uh, well, I mean, I mean, just take a look at it. It's destroyed. We haven't even taken the paper off yet because we don't want the interior to get ruined. Um, but uh, this guy, this guy's seen some better days. And uh, you can see why we just bought that as a parts car because you would never be able to fix this, at least not with our skill level. Um, we actually took the dash out already because we were going to put it in this car um, and then found out that the... Well, the dashes were different and they didn't line up, so they did update the dash for 2019. Um, but this was kind of a base car, not a lot of options. Um, it actually still has a key instead of a uh, push button start. So um, it's, a, it's overall a pretty nice little car. You can see we got some issues there as far as interior stuff and a little lack of headroom. Um, but lots of lots of good parts. But we're mainly interested in these front end parts right here because that's what we need to fix this car. Um, this car did have both airbags blown, but you'll see, um, like I said, the dashes have already been replaced. We had to buy this one from a junkyard. We planned to use the one from the other car, um, but it did not fit. So uh, this dash here is from a junkyard pool. And uh, actually I have a little bit of footage, just a little, just a little bit. Um, of uh, the install process of this. So I'm gonna put that in right now and we'll be right back. So Lance already got started here, but you can see, woo! He got the entire dash out already. Okay, we had a blown airbag up there. You didn't get to see that. Um, but uh, I don't think this airbag is missing. Those wires are seeming important that they're cut off, um, but uh, they're different. You can see him over there. We're going to walk over and look at that dash here in a second. Uh, one's a 2018, one's a 2019. And we found out that uh, after purchasing them that the, the dashes were different, right? Right. That's what you found out. Okay. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do some windshields and other stuff that way. But this is the main project for today. Um, it's just getting these guys out of here, which they're already pretty much done. So I'm probably not going to have too, too much to do with it here. There's the old one. You can see the blown airbag. And uh, keep in mind the shape of that dash. And then, uh, oh, yeah, this got a little, little issue there. Um, and uh, here's the other dash. So this one here is coming out. It's my nephew right there. He's uh, in charge of removing all of this. 
and uh, getting it over into this car. And we're just hoping that all the connections and everything uh, work out. So, yeah, I actually haven't helped with this rebuild process at all other than just coming to look at the cars. Um, so I just happened to stop by. I got a little bit of that, uh, that footage there. But uh, let's keep looking around at the rest of this and all the work we got to do. All right, so there might be a little bit of wind noise, but this 2018 uh, Tucson has uh, 11,000 miles on it. Still pretty much a brand new car, all-wheel drive, all of those things. Loaded up a little bit more than the other one. Still not leather or anything like that, um, but a pretty nice little car. Um, the only other damage I saw on it, just a little scuff right there. That might have been from the accident as well. Uh, missing the uh, lower rocker guard down there, and... Uh, we do have a cracked windshield, unfortunately, but we'll pop this hood here. And you can see, I believe it's the, I have no idea what motor's in this. I started saying it, but I actually have no idea. Let's see here. Does it say up here? Uh, nope. All right. So whatever motor's in this, I would assume it's like probably like a 2.0 turbo. Let's go with that. Um, but uh, hitting the front end, frame rails are all straight. Just uh, some missing parts that didn't come with them or anything. So we're going to be using everything from that as and uh, figuring out where everything goes. And should have everything to uh, complete this actually pretty quickly because it just does not take that long. Um, you know, as long as all this stuff and everything, everything seems to be straight as far as like the frame and radiator mounts and everything like that. So I think this is going to be a slam dunk to put back together um, and get this guy back on the road and sold. So yeah, these two guys were bought just for flip and then for parts. Um, and honestly, we're probably going to be able to sell all the parts off that guy for whatever is in almost both of them um, and make a make a pretty good little chunk of change on it. I think obviously, as always, uh, the cars are usually the rebuild stuff is always my brother's. Um, and we do, a, you know, I help out and make the videos and everything like that. Um, so they're not mine, but I do like to come over and help out and check out what's going on over here. Um, another one we got going on that um, not done yet, but uh, got this Buick Encore. You saw that probably from an earlier video. And uh, we're just waiting for to find a donor car for that like we did for the uh, Tucson. So uh, it's always great to uh, be able to buy a full car for the parts because usually you can buy a full car for whatever the cost of the parts are. You end up with a lot more, uh, lot more stuff to sell and uh, make some extra cash that way. And just before I wrap up here, here is the caddy I was talking about. You can see we still got some front end parts to put on it here. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what's up with the transmission. It just does not have any forward momentum power at all. We tried to get it on the trailer last night um, and really had to take a run at it because um, it just wouldn't go up over the, like, the lip of the trailer. So uh, might have some issues there, but uh, luckily it did align. Engine is running good, everything that way. So uh, that one's probably on hold for a little bit till we figure out the uh, mechanical issues. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for me for today. Keep looking. In here we are going to be working on these two cars here coming up we're going to get that guy back on the road right over there and uh get get running and driving man and keep turning these cars over i don't know if you noticed but we've run through a lot of cars i realized over the uh last couple months we've uh, we've done a bunch of rebuilds so um always keep posted follow me on instagram you'll see some of these cars these were already posted on there so you would have seen this ahead of time so uh always some fun stuff there thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and share have a great day